All right, welcome Woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. Today I'm really excited because I have a video I've been working on. It relates the story of a drunken housewarming party at Kunichika's place back in the late 1860s. And the reason we know about this story is that Kunichika did a series of four interviews with the Yomiuri Shinbun, which is one of Tokyo's largest newspapers in 1898. And he related this story then, and now I'm gonna tell it to you. Kunichika's work was selling well, and he moved to a new house in Nihonbashi. In the evening, he walked around the block and he was thanking all of his neighbors for their housewarming gifts. And by the time he got back home, all the guests had arrived for the party. Okay, so who was at this housewarming party? Let's start with our host, Kunichika. We have a photo of him, uh, but we've turned it into this manga style image for the purposes of our story. Uh, here are some examples of his work. He was well known for his images of beautiful women and for his images of legend and history. Of course, he's most well known for his um, wonderful series of images of actors in various roles. And uh, let's not forget his uh, triptych and his other prints of tattooed street bandits or the otokodate. One of Kunichika's guests at the party was Kawanabe Kyosai. Uh, we have his photo and we've turned him into this manga image. And Kyosai was also known as the demon of painting. Uh, he was very mischievous. He would often paint when he was very drunk. He was arrested several times for his anti-government uh, commentary and views. And uh, uh, when he was a child, he was walking home and he found this severed head in the river. And instead of running in the opposite direction, he picked it up, brought it home, put it on the table and started to sketch it. So here are some of his prints. Uh, we're starting with the uh, fashionable Battle of the Frogs. And now here's a picture of this gorgeous tiger. And this next print is uh, Jigoku Dayu, or the Hell Courtesan. And it's really interesting in the background here. You've got all of these skeletons and dancing and moving. Very ama amazing print. And finally, something more simple, Cat, Mouse, and Moon. Another guest at the party was Kuniteru I. We don't have a photo of him, unfortunately, so this is our image. And uh, here are some print examples so you can get an idea as to his style. Uh, there's this beautiful uh, battleship image and this uh, print of sumo wrestlers. And finally, uh, this print of Yorotsuyo Bridge. The final artist in attendance was uh, Chikanobu. We don't have a photo of him either, and we've drawn him rather serious here because he uh, had fought in several battles and was well known as a soldier before he became an artist. Here are some examples of his prints. He did some beautiful triptychs. This one is called Cherry Blossom Party. This print is from his series called Snow, Moon and Flowers. This is Taira no Kiyomori. Uh, who is hallucinating the skulls of his enemies in the snow. It's a wonderful series. And uh, this colorful print is called Fragrance in the Air. And here is a print from his series Mirror of the Ages. His next guest wasn't an artist. He was a man of great wealth and a big spender, Mr. Tsuto. Uh, Mr. Tsuto used to hang out with uh, actors, uh, courtesans, and sumo wrestlers, and he spent a lot of time in the pleasure quarters of Tokyo. And the final guest that Kunichika mentions is Ishii Dainoshin, who was a practitioner of sword play and a dentist. Uh, we don't have a photo of uh, Ishii, but we do have this print by Kyosai where we can see Ishii uh, leaping out of his house with his sword all ready to, all ready to fight. If you can imagine this scene, uh, you've got these great artists uh, eating, drinking, laughing, having a great time. It's almost like if you had the French Impressionists Renoir, Monet and Gauguin all together having a big drunken party.
Kunichika had drunk too much and went upstairs to take a nap and had just dozed off when he heard a noise that woke him up. So he went downstairs to check. Kyosai was drunk and had removed Tsutuo's brown coat and painted on it by dunking it in a bowl full of ink. Tsutuo painted a face and then Kyosai drew a water sprite or kappa in the middle of it. Kunichika said, just like me, sake is no good for Kyosai. In the garden, there were two or three tatami makers racks lined up in a row and on them were the new paper sliding doors for the entrance to the second floor. A geisha was there holding the ink while Kyosai painted a picture on them. That was all well and good, but then he stamped on the new sliding door and put a gaping hole in it. Kunichika went up to him and said, Look Kyosai, you're doing a terrible thing here. Please stop. But since he said it so forcefully and was so drunk, Kyosai took the brush and painted his face completely black. Then the dentist Ishii said, because you have such buck teeth, Kyosai, let me yank them out for you. Then Chikanobu drew his sword and jumped in. Kyosai took off running through a hedge, tripped and fell into the gutter. Kunichika said he looked like a sewer rat. And there was Kunichika <laughs> with his black painted face <laughs> laughing at him. In the days following the party, Kyosai went to Kunichika's house and they made up. But Kyosai never forgave Chikanobu for drawing his sword and they never collaborated on any prints uh, going forward. So I hope you enjoyed that piece of drunken history. I'm so glad that Kunichika gave that interview because it gives us an intimate look into these artists and uh, reminds us of how human they actually were. Happy collecting. <laughs>